Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining us as we take this opportunity to look at how we can utilize Office 365 on our iPads. So let's get started with today's lesson. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Translator app that comes um, from Microsoft and how we can utilize this on our iPads. One of the really nice features on an iPad, obviously, is the fact that I've got a built-in microphone, so it's a really, really nice and easy way to use this. Um, now, I don't speak another language, so therefore, I'm gonna demonstrate this across two devices and I've cheated a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna jump into the Translator app, which is this one here, and open it up on both my devices. So although I'm doing this in the same room um, as myself, obviously this is something that you would utilize with people. Actually, do you know what? You could do this in the same room if someone didn't speak the same language as you. It's just as simple a way to do this. So I'm gonna start the conversation on this device. I'm gonna obviously enter my name, enter my language. And then on the other device, I will ask to join. So I'm going to enter here, gives me this QR code, also a code that I can use. On the other device, I am going to scan this. It's gonna give me the camera, just quickly scan that. And then I can enter my name on this. So, uh, oh, do you know what? Maybe I should call myself something different. Uh, Frank, there we go. And I'm gonna change my language here and I'm gonna say I speak French and tap enter. So now on both devices, I'm instigating this kind of conversation um, and you can see on both devices, we're ready to go with this. Now, we can do this via uh, voice and I'll show you that in a second in terms of how that works. Um, my only concern with that is I don't speak French so I'm gonna show it how it works in both directions, but um, we'll, we'll have a go with it a little bit later. So I'm just gonna go to the, the keyboard um, access for this and let's start the conversation by just saying hello and you'll see instantly on the other device it's instantly translated that for me and it comes up in french on the other device and now on this device i want to say something back now i again have to admit i have cheated slightly here because i do not speak french so therefore i've got some phrases that i'm just going to add in and so we can just see the process in reverse so if i send that message you'll see that that pops up on my screen instantly, translating it back for the other person. So we'll carry on this. There we go. And let's go to our next question here. I'll just drag it in and send. And there we go, it's translated again. Uh, so I have been to West Wales. There we go. It's such a such a simple process, just jumping between the two. Um, I love the fact that I can have uh, the opportunity to just do this on my iPad to just demonstrate the, the ease of use um, in terms of just being able to drag from one document to another. Because you know, the more I play with this, the more I think about how a student might be able to do this for themselves. You know, they might not be able to um, kind of write all of this information in advance. Uh, sorry, they would be able to write it all in advance, but they might not be able to say it, um, you know, in the, in the current situation, which means they can kind of go through this whole back and forth process, having it kind of pre-documented. The other way this can benefit is that they could test their own understanding. So I'm going to try this last one now by coming back out of the keyboard and I'm going to go to the microphone. Now, because I've used the um, hover function of having um, my notes on this screen here and I can have that um, whilst I'm working on my screen. I'm going to try and say this in French now and see if it works. So again, for your maybe modern foreign language students, if you're teaching children about different languages, this is a nice way for them even just to try things out, developing their oracy skills. Let's have a go live. This could all completely fail on me, but we shall try. Quel est votre chose préféré à faire le weekend? Tell you what, that's not bad, is it? So um, there we go. What's your favourite thing to do on the weekend? So it, it's a really, really nice way to just kind of move between, uh, you know, the, the practising saying it in one language, checking whether or not it actually has said in that language. Um, and then the nice thing, like I said, working on the iPad is the fact that I've just used this kind of, uh, slide over function of having my notes here so I, I can have that kind of support mechanism of have it written out this is what I think I need to say how do I pronounce it properly do I practice it does it come across properly and then checking on the other device whether it does actually come across in that way 
obviously the the reverse is is perfectly um, a good way to do it as well let's check on whether or not um, you know what what a phrase would look like in another language it's been great getting to know you and look forward to talking again in the future So again, I know what I've said in English and then on the other device, I can see what that would look like in French as well. Now you can do this in multiple languages. Um, obviously that just comes back to your setup at the very start to say which language you're in, but I think it's a really, really nice tool to be able to use your iPads and use that as a way of teaching children about foreign languages, but also as an educator, if you are working in a school where the parents might not speak the same language as you, what a great way to instigate that conversation with them just by um, having a couple of iPads ready at a parent consultation event, you can just kind of engage in that conversation. So there we go, how to use the Translate feature that you get with your Microsoft Office 365, but utilize it on your iPad.